Well, after six days at work, a Saturday morning, it's time for a nice greasy fry up just before the match starts. And I go for my five mile run, sausages, bacon, and gorgeous, beautiful mushrooms. I love it. an English breakfast in the morning. Now we'll have an egg, a lovely, juicy egg. It's not break that yolk. Beautiful, spot on. That's how you fry a fried egg. There we have it on the plate. What's missing? Yes, the beans, the baked beans. A lovely dollop of baked beans right in the center of that beautiful full English breakfast. That's what you want on a Saturday morning. There's one thing missing, the Pierre La Resistance tomato ketchup. Yes, let's have some English breakfast with me ketchup. Enjoy this. I cannot wait. Yum, yum. Well, here we go, it's match day. And it's absolutely pissing down, pardon me French. But I hope Sunderland can win the day and brighten up this day and make it a lot better than it is right now. I'm off to put my bet on, on a coupon. I'll show you what it is in a bit. But I've got a few fans reactions, score predictions on coming up now. A big fan from America, so watch it now. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, Donald here. Not too well at the moment, but I said I wouldn't let my great friend, the Mad Mistake, down. He's a great guy, great YouTuber. My prediction for today's soccer match is the Cheltenham Cowboys nil, the Sunderland All Stars two. Great team, great team. Better than the skunks up the road there. But now listen, be sure to subscribe to the Mad Mistake. He's a great guy, funny guy. Almost as good looking as me. And if you don't subscribe, I'll send a couple of feds from the White House down to pay you a little visit. Come on, you black cats. Now who the hell is this Lee Bailey? Good afternoon, everyone. The score prediction for today is Charlton 1, Sunderland 2. Goal score is Lyndon Gooch and Luke 09. How are you, lads? Come on! Hi, Terry. AK Mad Mistake. Call. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go for a 1-0 win. It's going to be a tough game against Tottenham and Daly. But I am going for a 1-0 win. Goal scorer. Do, do, do. I'm going to go Chris Maguire. Just hope he gets a goal. And hope we win as well. But yeah, babe, tough game today. So I'm going for a 1-0 win. How are the lads? Come on and follow Mad Mistake on YouTube, everyone. And follow my page on Facebook. We all love SAFC. Thank you, guys. How are the lads? Hi there, it's Harry the Egg Fortune here, back with a score prediction. Today, I do think that it's going to be a 3-1 victory to the lads. And it's going to be a rough battle, but we are going to get there in the second half. So, yeah, how are Let's get behind them. All right, we're back again. Hermes, top couriers. And we're out Saturday morning. Uh, what's the matter with you? You're not a top courier. I am a top courier. Yeah, I'm not. Hey, I'll tell you what. What have you just done? Tell them what you've I'm just done. I've delivered. You've just gone to a house to deliver a parcel and didn't take the parcel with you. <laughs> top courier. Listen, you won't be working for me much longer. Thank if you God. Like this. Thank God. <laughs> right, anyway, it's Saturday morning, pouring down with rain, and we're here to do a score prediction for uh, the Mad Mistakes uh, vlog. I'm going to go uh, Charlton 1. <laughs> Sunderland <laughs> one. Um, and what are you saying? I'm gonna. Ooh, I'm gonna say two one Charlton. Sorry, but I think two one Charlton. Well, I think if we can get a win today, then that's it. We're up and running, and we'll be up by Easter. So one one for me. Uh, two, two one Charlton for, for Karen, and we'll see you. Oh, we'll see you on the Sunday bunch uh, tomorrow. You won't see me. Not you, <laughs> but me. Okay. Goodbye. See you. Bye. Bye. Cheers, Terry, for having me on. Um, I'm, it's going to be a tough one today. I'd, I'd take a point before we even start today, just just because it's a promotion rival, still unbeaten at the start of the season. But I just don't... I, I want to go for a win. And like I said on the, the Thursday show, I think we'll scrape a 1-0 a win, just about get through it on there. It'll be a tough, tough game. But yeah, we'll scrape a 1-0 and we'll, we'll be rocking right up the top of the league there. Okay, see you later then. Bye. Hi, I'm Finn. I think the score is going to be 2-1 SFC. Hello, Mad Mistake channel. My name is Joe. I live in Sunderland and today I think 
against Charlton in the playoff final. Obviously one of the lows of being a Sunderland fan really and I think it's going to be very close today. But I, I'm predicting Sunderland to win 1-0. I can't see us scoring more than two goals considering the fact that we rotate our attack too much. But I think our defence is the best in the league and that is a hand on heart opinion. So yeah, I'm going to say 1-0. I'm going to say Danny Graham to start and get his first goal for Sunderland. Because every single goal we've scored this season he's been on the pitch for. And I think he's the most influential player in our team. So uh, 1-0 Sunderland. How are the lads? There you go. Hope you enjoyed those score predictions. I hope most of them come true. Apart from that bloke who says his glass is always half full. And his sidekick. The best and naughtiest double act since Bonnie and Clyde. I hope their prediction's wrong. Under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, hey, 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 under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, hey, 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 I haven't got me umbrella, and I'm getting soaking, and of course, I'm on the road to nowhere, I can't wait to get dry. Hi there folks, it's me here at the deer, uh, just with, with me predictions for the deer, I'm going to go for Charlton 1, Sunnan 1. I think this is probably our toughest game of the season. Either this one or away at Portsmouth. If we get anything to do, it is a result we've done well. So I'm going for a 1-1. One, one. Come on! Yeah. Well, here we go. It's Charlton versus Sunderland down in the valley. And today, Phil Partinson has decided in his wisdom and his wise choices to leave the best striker at Sunderland at this moment in time with the potential to score the most goals in Will Grieg on the bench. He has no faith in Will Grieg for the simple reason. This is what it is, right? Some managers are just stubborn, right? Will Grigg was bought by Stuart Donald and Jack Ross. So Phil Parkinson doesn't want to play him. He wants to start the players he brought in to the team, which is Danny Graham. So he's bypassed. They've all had the time. Will Grigg had a chance the first match. You need strikers to get a run of games going. A run of games, get the confidence to get some play, some game play. He gave Will Grigg, you know, the first game of the season. He had no service. The service was shot in that match. Second game. We brought Danny Graham in. Again, service was shocking. Third game, we brought Charlie Wyke in. The fourth game, he thought, yes, I'll give Will Grigg a chance. Sod Will Grigg, my man starting, Danny Graham, and he's on the team today. We brought in also, Scowen's kept his place, and O'Brien's come back in because Maguire is still injured. But today against Charlton, right, the first half is finished. It's new mill at half time. We have had two or three clear cut opportunities to win this match, to be leading this match, sorry. We should be at least two up at half time. We've missed some absolute sitters from Aidan O'Brien and Danny Graham. Them two players there who were brought in by Phil Parkinson have missed some absolute sitters today. Absolute sitters. Danny Graham, open goal twice, puts the ball over the top or blocked once by, by one of their players. And Aidan O'Brien gets clean through inside the box and he decides to pass it rather than just shoot. Have a goddamn shot. But we did have one good chance for Scowen. Ball in the box, I think, was, was it right? Head of the ball. Their keeper made a fantastic save. But if it had been slightly more to the left-hand side, we would have been leading 1-0. Uh, the, biggest, the biggest mystery in the world today is not how the coronavirus started. It's not how do we get a cure for the coronavirus. It's not. Have we actually put a man on the moon? The biggest mystery to make the day is how Sunderland are not leading this match and how Phil Parkinson is not playing Will Grigg. If Will Grigg doesn't come on in the second half, Phil Parkinson is absolutely pointless. Phil Pointless Parkinson is going to rely on, I mean, Charlton. Charlton have been poor the first half. They're there for the taking. We should be winning this match. If we don't win this match, it's the biggest travesty going, I tell you now. I hope and I pray that, oh, I mean, as much as I want Will Grigg on the pitch, I still want me strikers to score goals. I want Danny Graham to score. I want Aidan O'Brien to score. I want them to score goals. I'm praying for them to score goals. But they're not helping themselves. They're not helping themselves. So it's nil-nil. We should be winning this match. We're not making it easy. And by this, by what's happening now, I wouldn't be surprised what's going to happen in the second half. We go. Finished. Charlton Athletic nil. Sunderland nil. And Charlton Athletic are the poorest side I've seen play Sunderland so far this season. Charlton Athletic were absolutely rubbish today. No disrespect to Charlton fans, but your team was garbage today. How we didn't win that match today, there's only one person to blame, and that's Phil Parkinson. Phil Parkinson, you absolutely 
not proactive, you're reactive, you wait far too long to do changes, and you play the wrong people. You won't play Will Grigg from the start. Will Grigg, we should have been 3 0 up at half time. 3 0 up at half time. Second half comes out and we dominate the matches again, but we create absolutely diddly squat. Create nothing in the final third. We can be defensively strong all day long. But I've said this in SFC Fan TV Sunday Bunch. I've said in the Thursday night live stream, we have to get a striker scoring goals if we're going to get promoted this season. Phil Parkinson has not the ability to get the striker scoring goals. No ability at all. He's absolutely pointless. Pointless Phil Parkinson. Phil Pointless Parkinson. Will Grigg should be starting from the beginning of the season and still be playing now four matches. You can't have strikers have confidence if you don't play them. Feeding off scraps with 20 minutes to go is pointless. Flanagan was brought down, it was sized down with his Achilles, stood on his hand, batted his elbow, the referee gave absolutely diddly squat and then Flanagan, because he's all flappy, gets sent off because he did sigh the man down and it was a red card. I am not stubborn, I say it was a red card because it was a red card. The referee gave us nout all afternoon but we didn't need it. We played against 12 men and we didn't need it because we were far better, the better side all afternoon, apart from we haven't got a striker who can put the ball in the back of the net. It's obvious to see, Parkinson rotates the strikers, he has no confidence in anybody, he's giving confidence to nobody, he didn't buy Will Grigg, he won't play Will Grigg. We may well eventually one day, you know, get promoted. And if we do under Phil Pattinson, well done. You're no good in the championship, Phil Pattinson. But if we don't, he needs to be dragged out of that door and sacked as soon as possible. Because he isn't the man. He can't give strikers any confidence. Will Greg scored goals for Wigan. And I know people say his heart wasn't in it. This, this, you know, left, right and centre. Yes, okay. This season... Should have been the main striker from day one. He played the first game, given nout. But give him three or four matches. That's what you have to do with strikers to give him confidence and belief. Danny Graham missed two absolutely sitters today. Absolute sitters. I'm, I'm an old man. I am absolutely hopeless of football. I could have put that ball in the back of the net. And what? where do I start with Aidan O'Brien? Aidan O'Brien's probably good on a race course. Aidan O'Brien the trainer, but Aidan O'Brien the footballer. He runs around and he gets in absolutely amazing, amazing positions. And all you see is, run to the goal, shoot, but he passes the ball. Like flaming hell, man, O'Brien, just be greedy and shoot. You're a striker, shoot. Will Greg would have shot all day long. I don't care what anybody says, nil-nil is not a good result. It's not a good result. If you want to get promoted, it is not a good result. It's absolutely, it's ridiculous the result of the day. We should have won that game hands down. Charlton had nothing to offer. Literally nothing to offer. Lee Boyer's side were absolutely clueless. We dominated it. It should have been like taking candy from a baby. It should have been, it was so easy to win. And we just dropped two points because of pointless Parkinson. Exactly, pointless Parkinson only gets a point. Eight points. I, I, I'm sorry for ranting on and people said beforehand, yes, we get a point against Charlton. It's a good result. You know, in hindsight, sorry, beforehand, because of last season, the season before, it may have been. But today, Charlton were absolutely garbage. And like I said, no disrespect to Charlton. But we will never get another opportunity to take three points away from home. So easy than today. I'm going to have to go because it's not in the life out of me. And...
You know, end of the day, I'm not, I'm not a Phil Pattinson fan. You can clearly see I'm not a Phil Pattinson fan. I hate the hoofed football. Willis, every first kick of every single match, hoofs the ball forward. Second half, hoof the ball forward. We lose the ball, lose possession. It's not the way to go. Charlie White is an absolute tatey, tatey of a striker. Beautiful man, wonderful man. Probably a great husband if he's married. Great father. He'd probably do well in accounting or something. But as a striker, for God's sake, man. He's not a striker. Charlie Wake is not a striker. Phil Parkinson, what are you singing in Charlie Wake? Should have brought on Jack Diamond. I'm going to have to go because I'm going to have an aneurysm. Right. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your day. I'm going to go and chill out. I really do need to chill out. It isn't the end of the world. We didn't lose. I know it's not the end of the world. But when you watch a match that you dominate, you've got to take the points. Peterborough were getting beat to come back in the 1-3-1. Well done, Peterborough. Lincoln, top of the table. Win the day. Well done, Lincoln. Hull, win the day, I think. Well done, Hull. These teams, we can't afford to give too many, too much advantage on in the table. We need, it's all kicking clean sheets. But you've got to score goals, Philip Pointless Parkinson. I'm going to go. Because, you know, I don't hate the man. I don't wish him any ill health. I hope he succeeds. I hope he sees the light. Please see the light. And just do the right thing. Either get a good striker in or play Will Grigg. Phil, I want you to succeed. I really do. I want every single player to succeed. But when you watch a match like that today, it just makes you want to have a drink. I'm going to go and probably watch a movie or some sort of mystery murder. Just to cool us down. Right, I'll see you later. Take care. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching the live stream. And I might see you during the week if my head hasn't exploded.